sciatica anatomy. The sciatic nerve is a large nerve comes from the lumbosacral plexus. Has five nerve roots that comes from L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. The nerve runs from the lower spine through the buttock, down the leg, and the foot. Nerve initially emerges from the pelvis and it exits the greater static notch anteriorly and deep to the piriformis and it exits below the piriformis. It enters the thigh between the ischial tuberosity and the greater trochanter. In about 10% of the patient, the static nerve is separated in the greater static notch by all or part of the piriformis. It enters the thigh beneath the lower border of the gluteus maximus. Then it runs down and branches out in the posterior aspect of the thigh down to the leg and the foot and give multiple sensory and motor branches to specific areas and the specific muscles in the leg and the foot. The two main branches are the posterior tibial and the common perineal nerves. So as you can see here, sciatica can be caused by irritation of the sciatic nerve at multiple sites. The first site we need to look at the spine where the irritation can happen usually from a lumbar disc herniation and that is a true sciatica or lumbar radiculopathy. Another site, the nerve is pinched under the piriformis muscle and that's called piriformis syndrome. Piriformis syndrome is a diagnosis of exclusion. If the patient have sciatica, you got to have an MRI of the spine that's negative, then you can say the sciatica may come from piriformis syndrome, but you got to look at the spine first. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.